Hey guys, welcome to today's video. We are here to chat about some new makeup releases. I did not film a video like this last week, so I have tons of new makeup to chat with you about, but I wanna let you know my thoughts. I wanna talk about some new makeup. I wanna hear your thoughts. I wanna know what you're eyeing, and I'm gonna tell you my thoughts. What products am I interested in picking up? What am I passing on? Is there anything I'm a little bit undecided about? If you are new here, hello and welcome. My name is Kelly and I love all things makeup and beauty. I love talking, I love makeup, I love talking about makeup. So if you like to chat about makeup too, I would love to have you subscribe and be part of the Kate Bella fam. But why don't we go ahead and jump into the video. Okay, so first up, RMS Beauty. I don't think I've heard of RMS Beauty. I think when I flagged this, I thought it was REM Beauty by Ariana Grande. Anyway, RMS Beauty has some new Redimension Hydra Powder blushes. So these are supposed to be nourishing blushes with jojoba oils. It's a powder blush, but it's supposed to blend into your skin to give your face a silky smooth appeal. There are They are $30 each and there are four shades, Mai Tai, Sangria, Pomegranate, and French Rose. I have to say, I think they look beautiful. I really like the design that you have on the blush product itself. You can't really see the packaging. It looks like there might be a mirror with that blush and then perhaps it's white packaging. Like I said, I haven't heard of RMS Beauty, but I think these blushes look really nice. I don't know, I don't know which one is which, but in the picture, like the top left-hand corner looks more neutral. I would be into that blush. The bottom right-hand corner is a little bit more of like a lighter pink. I would be into that blush. For $30, I don't think I'm about to like run out and pick these up, especially not knowing RMS Beauty. I, like I said, I thought that this was going to be REM Beauty, and then I thought maybe I would pick it up, but these look pretty. I just don't know that I necessarily need to go out and get them, so I think I'm gonna pass on it for now but it looks nice. I have been wanting to try those little Kaja Trio eyeshadow palettes, and now they have a Viva Shine Bento All Over Highlighter Trio. So it says that it's multi-purpose. You can use it for the eye, face, and body, but they're three highlighters. Ooh, and it says a glitter palette. One of these shades does look more glittery than the others. I'm not huge into the glitter, you know, not really a glitter fan, don't really want glitter in my highlighter, but it looks like the, the whiter shade is a little bit more glittery, and then you have one that's more of a, a light champagne sheen, and then more of a bronze or gold sheen. It says there's something for every style with Viva Shine Bento All Over Highlighter Trio. So shade number one, Glisten Up, is a white pink opal glitter. Okay, that one's a glitter. Uh, zero two is Champagne Time, which is a bouncy jelly cream to powder texture. And then 03 Dazzling Bronze is a flashy metallic that lights up any room. I think this is a great idea. It's definitely not for me. The, the swatches look beautiful, but I know I wouldn't use the glitter. And I feel like the bronze shade would be a little bit too deep for my skin tone, but Kaja is definitely a brand that I'm eyeing that I want to know more about. I just won't be picking up this highlighter trio. Makeup Forever has new HD Skin Face Palettes. There are four different palettes. They have 12 complementary cream shades to correct and enhance your natural beauty. So they're supposed to be correctors, concealers, uh, contour and illuminate. It does say that it has a lightweight texture and natural finish. Okay, so there's not four of them, there's two of them. I'm sorry, and then there's there's 12 in each, six on each side. So Harmony 1 is the picture on the bottom, which is light to medium, and Harmony 2 is the picture on the top, which is tan deep. So three of these are supposed to be used as cream foundations. There are four shades of concealers and correctors, two blushes, two contouring shades, and a highlighter. It says that this will probably be, oh, okay. It says available now in the Middle East, but coming soon in October for North America. If I paid attention to that beforehand, I probably would not have brought this up this early in the game. I don't really like when companies do that. When brands do that, they like announce something and it's not coming out for forever. 
Either way, I think this would be great for someone who is a makeup artist or does makeup on other people, but for someone like me who just does makeup on myself, it's kind of pointless. Like I wouldn't use all of these shades. I, I'm not really like a mixer and matcher. Like I'm more of like a hurry up, throw my makeup on and go kind of gal. So this is just not my style of product. I feel like a lot of people will be very excited for this one. It's the new No Limits Cream Bronzer Stick from LYS Beauty. So it's their cream bronzer formula. This is new, they, they have not come out with a cream bronzer yet. There are five different shades and it's in their signature triangle shape. And so I've seen a couple people use this already and it looks like that triangle shape is great to do like a chin contour because you can use the tip or even just to do a little swipe right here on your cheekbone. It looks great. I'm going to pass on it just because I am not huge into cream bronzers. I found that I dislike cream products more than I like them. Now I do have the Rare Beauty one and I do really enjoy that one. There's a fly in here. Annoying. But I'm just not being a cream person. I don't think that I'm going to pick this up. And on top of that, when I had their powder bronzer, I had the shade Harmony, which was their medium shade, and I felt like that was a little bit too orange. But I feel like the Motivate shade, which is the light shade, I don't know that that would quite be deep enough for me. It might be, it might not be. Either way, I'm gonna go ahead and pass on this, but I know my cream lovers are probably very excited to see this release. Another product that I know people are probably losing their minds over is the new Pat McGrath Skin Fetish Blushes and Highlighters. So they are blush duos, okay? You get blush duos here. And I don't know, the one thing I'm confused about is I don't know if the duos are new shades or if it's the shades that they already have and they're they're put together in one. So if you know, let us know down below. But like I know when they're saying the shade names, Aphrodite Amour is a soft coral rose with moonlit pearl, Venetian sunrise, soft cool pink, demi matte. Like it's not saying that these are the exact same shades. They look beautiful. I love the Pat McGrath blush formula. It's one of my all time favorites. It's a go to, but I'm not someone who really wants a duo. Like I would much rather purchase the shades that I want, or like I do have one of their trios that comes with a highlighter as well, but I don't really want to mix and match them. I don't really want them together in one. So I am going to be passing on that. And then they do have new Divine Glow highlighters, and I'm gonna be passing on these as well because, unpopular opinion, I don't love the Pat McGrath highlighter formula. I find it to be a little bit more of like, a chunky glittery type of look whereas I want more of like a lit from within like I love the Natasha Denona formula that's what I have on my cheeks today the Natasha Denona I need a nude glow the one that was limited edition whereas I feel like Pat McGrath is a little bit more chunky and glittery so I'm gonna be passing on this as well but I know that there were so many people who were so excited to see this release and like I said I love the blushes so if you're into like a duo compact you do you, pick up a couple, they look beautiful. I just want mine separate. Fenty Skin came out with a new Cherry Treat Conditioning Lip Oil. I've said this before, I'm not into the lip oils. I'm not into the lip stains. I'm still in 2016, 2017 liquid lipsticks. <laughs> like, that's still my jam. A lip oil is not for me, but it says that this is coming soon. It's supposed to condition, soften, and smooth the lips, and it's supposed to be a non-sticky formula. So if you're into an oil, that may be for you, but for someone like me, I'm not gonna use it. Tarte Cosmetics came out with a Tarte Shape Tape Glow Bronzer, and it looks like it's supposed to be a bronzer with a little bit of a sheen. It looks like it's a bit of a baked formula. It almost reminds me of like the Milani blushes, those like Milani Luminoso. It's giving me the same kind of vibes. So it's formulated with diamond powder to filter out imperfections and brighten the look of skin. So this is definitely going to give you a luminous glow, but it says there is no glimmer or shimmer. Interesting. Okay, so I think 
for now this is going to be a pass but it's definitely intriguing because I do like more of a luminous bronzer but I'm not into the shimmer and glitter so that's what they're saying this is is it's supposed to be more of a like glowy bronzer without the shimmer you can get it now at QVC. This is something I'll probably keep my eye on. Like I said, I don't know that I'm gonna go out and purchase it immediately, but it looks interesting. Although I think there are only two shades, so that's not really gonna get you very far. Kim Kardashian has another brand. Are we surprised? It's uh, Skin, Skincare, S-K-K-N, Skincare. So there's a cleanser, toner, exfoliator, hyaluronic acid serum, vitamin C8 serum, eye cream, face cream, oil drops, night oil, the works. This is going to be available on June 21st on their website. I'm not sure if this is going to be in stores at Sephora or Ulta, it doesn't say, but when it comes to celebrities and their skincare brands, I'm just not about it. I didn't try JLo's, I know Scarlett Johansson's coming out with one. I'm just not into celebrity skincare brands. I don't, I don't know why. I just feel like, because I'm sure they hire people, right? Like I'm sure that they are hiring experts to formulate these products and get the best quality, but I just don't know how experienced they are. Because I feel like a lot of them, you know, it's, it's not like an influencer. Like when an influencer comes out with a brand, I kind of trust what they say because they try so much makeup, but I don't really know how much makeup celebrities are trying and how much makeup they're actually doing themselves. You know, they usually have people to do their makeup for them. So I'm, I'm not surprised to see Kim Kardashian coming out with a skincare brand, but I'm going to pass on it. When this was announced, my best friend Smegs sent me a text message and was like, I want this immediately. So it's a new eyeshadow palette from Anastasia Beverly Hills. I believe it's called Nouveau. So you have mattes and multi-dimensional metallics with neutrals and pops of color, 12 shades, creamy blendable formula. This is available on June 13th. Now, I feel like this is not giving me ABH vibes at all. Like I feel like it's set up a little bit differently. It almost looks like the pan sizes look a little bit larger. You do have six on the top, six on the bottom. If you are not a fan of the velvet packaging, the packaging is not velvet here. I don't know how I feel about this. So Smags texts me and she was immediately like, I want this. I think it's beautiful. And I look at it and I'm like, yeah, I mean, it's pretty but I just don't know. I don't have a strong pull towards it. So this is one of those, if you've been here for a while, you've heard me talk about my friend Smags, you know that oftentimes she will make a purchase and then I try it out and then I end up loving it and wanting it, much like the Natasha Denona Retro Palette. So I'm saying, no, I don't want this, but chances are she's probably gonna go out and purchase it. I'm probably gonna borrow it. I'm gonna film a couple looks with it and then I'll go from there. I mean, there are just, I think there are a few shades where I'm just like, like Wisteria and Peacock, probably not going to use those. Metro and Muse, probably not going to use those. So that's probably why I'm a little bit more hesitant. But also we haven't seen much from ABH lately. So I'm also intrigued because I want to know, is the formula a little bit different? Is the quality a little bit different? So let me know your thoughts down below. Is this something where you would be interested in seeing me try this palette out on camera? Like, what are your thoughts? Another eyeshadow palette, this one is a mini eyeshadow palette in Midnight Voyage from Pat McGrath. This was honestly giving me Too Faced vibes. Like when I first saw it, I thought it was a Too Faced mini. You definitely have like three neutral shades on the top and then three purple shades on the bottom. This is limited edition and it says it's a mini palette with five of her most loved eyeshadows. So I don't think these are new. It looks like it's her best selling eyeshadows in one maybe. So you have Skin Show Divine Glow, Entrapment, Sunset Bronze, Extreme Aubergine, Eleganza, and Night Creature. It looks beautiful. I do like the Pat McGrath packaging. I like the quality. I don't think that I'm going to go ahead and pick this up because I don't wear a ton of purples. So I feel like I would probably just use the top three shades and not the bottom three, but it's only $29. So if you've been wanting to try out Pat McGrath, this would probably be the time to try out her eyeshadows. Elf Cosmetics with their putties. They now have a luminous putty blush. So 
again, putty blush, but now a luminous version and not matte. $7 each. I don't think I'm going to be trying these. I have yet to try anything from the e.l.f. putty collection. I actually haven't tried e.l.f. in a while. I really love them as a drugstore formula and I probably should try some of their putty products, but this just doesn't look like doesn't look like something I'm going to pick up. You have three pretty shades, Bermuda, Isla de Sol, and Maui. I think the bottom one, like the pinky mauve shade, would probably be the one that I would be most likely to try, but being that I'm not really into the creams so much, I'm gonna pass over it. Okay, I have two more products to share. The next one is again by Fenty Beauty, and it's the new Toasted Swirl bronze shimmer powders. It looks like there are two shades, Swirl Chocolate and Swirl Pecan, coming soon on their website and at Sephora, and it's an illuminating bronzer. So I did just say that I was kind of keeping my eye on the Tarte one because it was supposed to be illuminating, but I really like the look of this Fenty one as well. I don't see a price, so the price will probably depend on if I pick it up and try it or not, and also if there are glitters in there. If there are no glitters and it's just more of a sheen like the hourglass swirl, then I will probably pick this up. But if there are more like glitters, almost like highlightery, then I will probably be passing on it. But let me know down below. Are you guys gonna pick this up? Are you interested? I think it's interesting that it says it's coming soon on their website and Sephora, and we just got Fenty and Ulta, but it doesn't have Ulta mentioned there. This wouldn't be a new makeup releases without ColourPop, okay? So ColourPop has their new Palm Spring collection. There's an eyeshadow palette. You have like some teal and blue in there with pops of orange. Looks like you have a deep midnight blue in there. It's called Meet Me in Palm Springs. Never been there. Super Shock Highlighters, not a fan. Four glowing lips. Glowing lips. What are glowing lips? I don't know. I guess a lip product, and then three cream gel liners. I will be passing over this. The color story is not one that intrigues me, and I've never been to Palm Springs, so I'm not like, oh, I need to pick that up because I've been to Palm Springs before. So this is going to be a pass for me, but it's that great ColourPop quality if you're into the color story. It's definitely more affordable. The eyeshadow palette's only $18, so you can jump on that if you're into that color story. But I'm going to go ahead and stop there. My daughter should be waking up any moment now. Those are my thoughts on some of the new makeup releases. As always, I would love to hear your thoughts in the comments down below. Let me know what you're eyeing. Let me know what you're into. I feel like I had a lot of passes, a lot of flops, and my wallet thanks me. But <laughs> that's going to do it for this video. Thank you guys so much for watching. Make sure you subscribe before you go. That way I can see you in the next one. Bye.